Hey everybody and welcome to the Salty Show and welcome back to a brand new series on Three Kingdoms Total War as let's see if you all could have guessed it we're gonna do 190 CE and I do believe we're going to play as Ma Tong Order will spread throughout. which even as the storm of chaos rolls get things and going thunders here? over Lo Yang Ma Tung does not let the squalls of court cloud his mind. Alrighty, so with that little out of the way, I apologize. Uh, we are going to be playing as Ma Tong here, as a loyal servant to the Empire, but one that will see hopefully its reignition and restoration of the Han after obviously Dong Zhao's or Dong Zhou's uh, demise one day. But it's somebody I haven't played him yet, and I'm playing with a lot of mods. Um, let me know if you want to see them. I will make a collection for them on Steam or something and link it to the video. But without further ado, everybody, if you're excited to see this and uh, you're as hyped to play this as I am, because I really do enjoy Three Kingdoms. It is a nice Total War game. I wish they would have developed it more, but it's really fun. We are going to play on Records mode. And without further ado, let's get into it. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the Han falters. Yet the chaos is nothing compared to loyalty. Ma Tung prepares, knowing he will follow the Emperor to whatever end. The Han Dynasty must be protected. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm in response generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion we are gonna skip the rest of the loading screen here <laughs> the capital burns lord ma Tung. The noblemen fight for the throne, but they ignore their empire, their responsibility. Dong Zhuo has taken the emperor west to Chang'an. This is wise. Dong Zhuo has removed him from the chaos. Now the emperor can rule without those insidious eunuchs. Yet there is still civil unrest. The yellow turban insurrections persist. Ever am I called to destroy China's enemies. Very well. Han Sui may aid you, my lord. He has been a staunch friend. He has. Yet friends rise and fall. The Empire must not. Long have you been the sword that holds back enemies without. Now you must turn your blade on the enemies within. All righty. Welcome, everybody, to the campaign screen. So, I don't know if I just said it or not. I'm pretty excited to get into this, and I really want to get started. But if you're excited, do like and subscribe, as always. And let me know with the likes on the video. Let's hit, like, five, maybe, if you want to hit it. Just so to see that people that are watching want to see this series and that it's going in the right direction. But without further ado, welcome. Welcome to China. So, we have established our power, we have our first quest, or well, first little chapter thing here, which is remove the Elturban threat and be weary of Dong Zhuo. And now we actually have our first mission, which is engage Wang Du here, and get the taste of victory reward. But, we are going to call that way. So, obviously, it's kind of weird being on this side of history, because Dong Zhuo obviously did not do very well at, uh, he didn't take the Emperor for good reason. Um... Which, fun fact, Chang'an used to be the capital of China uh, during one of its later dynasties. Check out the Fall of Civilization podcast if you're interested in that. They do a lot of really good stuff. Or he does. We actually got a decent few cool stuff here. 
But we're going to worry about all that later, as for now, we're going to get into our first battle. Spread in all directions! Obviously, let me know if audio is off or if anything sounds weird to you. But obviously, and we can win this without a doubt, but we're going to fight it. It's the first battle of the Total War campaign. So this is obviously going to be a first episode. We have passion and zeal. Do not waste it. But the inst or the I cannot wait to fight alongside you, friend. He didn't say anything when in my test campaign. But obviously, if the uh, load times get a little ridiculous, I will cut them out like I do in the Colchis campaign. But later Total Wars, the load times are a lot better. No more honeyed words. To the fight. Very well. A little bit of a rainy day. We are going to make this a swift battle. Grab our horsemen to the right side. I do greatly enjoy Three Kingdoms battles. I have a flag mod as well. You can't tell the horse spanner and also more flag variations too because that is one thing i greatly enjoy about 3k is uh the flags it's very cool all right doing but I will cut you to pieces for your treachery shut up and die tell you what yeah this is really gonna hurt oh Jesus Christ tell them to stop shooting A swift victory, indeed. Yeah, there was absolutely... That was devastating. <laughs> that went better than the test campaign that I just played. We destroyed them. No, they, we didn't lose a single man. Unless it was to friendly fire. But it doesn't... Some people lost some health, it looks like, but... Other than that, Jesus Christ, that I love the cavalry in this game is really overpowered. Just FYI, if you've never played. But a good job, Ma Tong. Celebrate! Yep, no more lost. Our victory was just. We're gonna see this supplies. To us now. So we get that first mission done, and we gain taste of victory. And we have a new one. We must secure Wudu in the Zaibei Zaibin province. Now, I am going to butcher these names, but I do really enjoy playing it. So, I hope you all can bear with me. Well, you've already been through that one. Attention. So, we are going to attack that this turn. But first off, we're going to go ahead and upgrade... I uh, don't know, actually. Hold on. We're going to a point. Before I forget, we're going to a point. Pong Di here. Or, never mind. Yeah, we're going to appoint his wife... Ma Tong's wife to Chancellor. Make her a little happier. Yeah, she's got a good bit of satisfaction now. And we're gonna go ahead and give her some traits. But she's already got some good ones. Um, plus nine expertise. Or, yeah. Don't they already have a bow as well? Okay, so really she doesn't need anything on D here. He should be good as well. All right, so they're both set. I figured she needed something, but I was wrong. Well, you know, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and level up the Silk Road Trader here. The only downside to Mark Tong's um, the heart. campaign I've seen so far is we start with Let two minor provinces. And lay them low. We're in a quick save. And we are going to jump right into this battle as well. 
Now this is a bit riskier because uh, Hong Lu, I think, or Gong Du, one of the Yellow Turban General factions, starts right down the road from this. So theoretically they could, uh, you know, turn around after they engage their initial battle. But either way, we secure this province. Hopefully we do it a little with a few casualties. Ma Tawang is going to depend on this army, his loyal army, but small, to, for the initial assaults. So it's a fairly normal layout, I think. It's been a minute since I've played. It appears the easiest to hit is going to be right here. We're going to do standard formation, except we're going to deploy the Quang Riders, or Marauders, my bad over here to try and take on that way the general's gonna deploy right here I think I do also have a mod that enables the romance abilities which is really nice so we're not missing out on any features but let's go ahead and begin So they deployed their barricades right there. That is what it is. We are going to send the infantry in first as we have no eyes on them yet. And we do need to secure the tower as soon as possible. Oh, very clever. They've deployed their archers there. So we're actually going to need to move around them. Our marauders are not in a really good spot. Secure those towers now. Okay, they are pouring through, thankfully. That's good. Pull back our generals. We don't want them to die. A comrade is being attacked. That's fine. I said we should be able to range by now. Put them all in guard mode. Get everybody across that bridge. Fortunately, these marauders are taking a good bit of damage. Alright, there we go. Focus on their captain here. And let's get Hong Du in here. Peng Du. I do apologize, I'm gonna butcher it, like I said. Oh, they're gonna pull back, it looks like. Hopefully that's the right call. Let's go ahead and get the Marauders in here. The captain's deployed shield over here across the bridge. How interesting. Alright, we've secured that. Let's 
Let's go for a good rear charge on them. Oh, lovely. Oh, the Rebels. Yeah, it's a good thing we're not relying on that barricade too much. Hongdu is taking some casualties, but... Yeah, we're breaking them up pretty bad. Oh, yeah. A good old mass route. There's nothing but horses on that bridge. And they're running for their lives here. Oh, I did forget to tell everybody. I am playing on hard, hard. It's a good thing we don't got to destroy this barricade, because uh, that would have been really bad to have to worry about. Let's kill this archer unit, and that should be it. Oh, God. Oh, it's a bloodbath. Oh, God. Death and devastation. Oh. Some of their forces are pulling back. It's Just nothing like that. that we need to worry about, though. That might break them. They are trying, though. Oh, that's an arm. Speed it up here. And we've crushed them. That should be a victory. Indeed it is. Wudu is secured. A decisive victory. So we did lose a couple men that time, but mainly falling to our... Uh... Our Marauders got beat up pretty bad, but that's okay. Securing Wudu was important. Defending it should be fairly easy, too. Let feasting commence! We are going to just occupy, though. A fine settlement. We'll take it. And we've established order. Montong looks to domestic issues. We need to construct a building. Very well. With Ma Tong taking we do here. Oh, China. Oh, it's now our faction capital. Oh, because it's the capital. I forgot about that. Of course it is. That explains why that changes. Let desire shape and guide passion. But with that being the case, we're gonna go ahead and enact Huan Li. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna put her down here. Trust instinct. And assign her to do these things. And we'll be able to recruit next turn. Gongdu here. Hopefully, he's going to kill this, but hopefully he'll go north towards Yingping here. But we shall see in the next turn, which I think we're ready to hit, everybody. Let us begin. I am going to turn some of that on fast. I usually leave this off just because it does seem to speed up the end turn times. But let me know if you do want to see it. Okay, so Gongdu does actually want to fight this. How interesting. 
so it says we're gonna lose. He's got 74 men in his battalion. Wow. But let's find out. The battle for Wudu. Let us strike now, whilst the iron still seeds. It is time to grind these peasants into dust. Well, that's definitely yep. That's kind of what China did for the foreseeable future of uh, peasant rebellions. Thanks for being historically accurate, I guess. I will savor this opportunity. Oh, I don't know why he just popped up. All right, so they're attacking from the area here, which is fine. Um, deploy the two initial barricades there. Wow, this settlement looks really nice in the summer or spring. We will go ahead and deploy. The garrison's is going to be cannon fodder. They're going to push through this way. Um, our actual archers deploy them right there. Backed by the G militia here. G militia here. Let's grab the Quang. Quang. I hope I'm saying that right. Quang. Marauders right here. And do we'll cover this far left and move in to reinforce while Ma Tong actually goes with the Marauders. Alrighty, let us begin. So they do have horseback hunters, which is not good. But it does explain why they have so few uh, men. Cannon units! An ambush! Yeah, lots of horseback. This cab unit's gonna be a little difficult to take on. But if we can get them swamped in. Move our men around the side here. Fire tower or fire arrows on our towers. Steal Steal Hit the guardians of the land. Oh yeah, there we go. This unit is really the only one I'm worried about. We're not doing a lot to them. Our marauders. You speak well for an infant. Right into the rear of them. Same goes for Ma Tong. Oh, yeah. Pop a morale debuff. Break off. That's going to hit them. That's good. It does not matter. As we've got a mass rail. A very good job. Try and get their general. Take heed, Killing him early would be beneficial. Our 
our coin marauders might not do too hot, but that's alright. Go after him. Our Quang Marauders are actually doing really good against the Huntsmen in the forest. Go and try and help them out. We're going to use our... Oh, we broke them there. He's broken. Go get him. I right, go ahead and speed it up. Ma Tong is having to chase that guy to the end of the earth. Oh, a nice little cinematic charge. Aw, oh, darn. They broke before we could get them. Let's get everybody in on this guy. And I'm going to speed it up, obviously. We don't need to see the end of that. A victory and Gongdu has failed to take back Wudu. It was indeed a close victory. But that should be the end of the Yellow Turban threat to Wudu our newly made faction capital. Order has oh yeah, we only lost 103 men. Wow. And we're going to get the replenishment rate this time around. So he's going to pull back into the forest. And that's going to be the end of the first turn. Very exciting. Three battles. Three very swift battles. Ma Tong. So challenge issue, we need to destroy Gong Du, which we're already making swift progress of that. Our building was constructed. Ancillary grain, the general stances ground. Very nice. We will look into those in a minute. Next episode, everybody, we're going to focus on recruiting, probably. Well, actually, never mind. Probably not. Probably finishing off Gong Du and maybe securing the Jai Bei or Jai Bing, uh Commandery. But if you enjoyed today's first episode and you're excited to see where this series goes and Ma Tong's legacy in the Han Empire, do like and subscribe as always. And remember to like go like five just to let me know that you guys do want to see this series and you're excited as much as I am. But without further ado, everybody, thank you all for tuning in to Salty Show whenever you're watching our week or weekend. Hope you enjoy. I've been Salty. Peace out, everybody.